Hello students, Professor Bell with you. This is going to be a very quick tutorial to show you how to um, uh, figure out soil texture using the soil texture triangle. So our three components, of course, are going to be sand, clay, and silt. And so this is, by the way, in your textbook, um, if you want to take a look in Chapter 8. Um, and let me see if I can figure out how to advance this slide. Oh, there we go, I guess. Okay, so uh, this is the basic layout of it. Uh, pause if you want to read what I've written here, uh, but I'm doing that for the hearing impaired. Uh, anyway, along the section of, of uh, clay here, you're going to go from the lower left hand to the apex to, to read what is your percent clay. From the apex to the lower right hand is going to be silt. So halfway is 50, for instance, and 50 here. You know, So you would draw, for instance, for clay. Uh, when you find uh, you know what what your clay is, say it's sixty, you'd have a line right here. If it's uh, you know thirty percent silt, then thirty goes down like this, and then from zero here on the bottom for sand to one hundred, and so say it was eighty percent, so you draw a line like that. Anyway, um, it's it's you know it's three metrics here coming together, and where those three lines intersect, you have your Soil type. We're going to use a black and white though to show it to you because it's easier to see. And so we use this for all of these soil types. Um, and you can do this in you know in your backyard if you just pick up, you know, take a shovel, throw some in a mason jar, put water in it, shake it up, and however it lays out, you can kind of tell what your short soil properties are. Um, you know, and if it's too sandy, you can add, you know, clay and silt. And depending on what kind of crop or, or flower or whatever you want to grow. Um, it's actually not, you know, not difficult at all uh, to, to, you know, to get the type of soil you'd like. But anyway, we're just trying to determine it here uh, so you can solve these problems on the, on the lab assignment and on the exam. So uh, just following this example, looking for 60, uh, 65. Um, so uh, let's see here. So yeah, so first one is, uh, what did I pick here? Sand. Yeah, here's sand. So sand's on the bottom. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Halfway between 60 and 70. And so there is your line. Now don't get confused by because it intersects up here at clay. You just have to, you're only measuring this part. So just mark it all the way to the edge. And that'll be your first step. Let's say your next step here then is to uh, draw a line that corresponds with, with uh, clay being 27%. So Pause it if you want to, but see if you can figure out where you need to draw the line. Okay, so again, 0, 10, 20, 30, 7, 27 ought to be right here. So uh, we're going to see that that should be, uh, sorry, uh, I'll get it again. There we go. Um, so uh, those two lines, and now you already know that it's going to intersect. So you already, with just these two properties, know that you're going to have a sandy clay loam, but there is a silt component. So let's look at that. So it's going to be at about 8%. So the 8% line is here, and it, it drops right through there. Uh, and I'm, I'm done, uh, essentially. So uh, when you look at your components uh, with the problems, always know that they're going to add up to 100%. You don't want ever, you know, that to be something... Uh, other than 100%. But anyway, this is this is really it. This is straightforward, and this is how you do it. I hope you don't have any questions, but if you do, you should feel free to ask, and we'll catch you later. Take care. Bye.